What's up, YouTube? So today is November 12th, and it's Monday. It's nighttime, obviously. Uh, it's like 7 o'clock, almost 7 o'clock at night, and, and it's literally been raining the whole day. Like, it has not stopped. And I think it's going to be raining, like, for the next three days or so. Um, but that's beside the point. Today, I'm feeling... I had a three-day weekend, so I had today off, which was nice. For some reason, I'm feeling really overwhelmed. Um, I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. Uh, I know a few things that are causing this, but it's just like, I don't want to feel like this. Um, so for the most part today, I was pretty productive. I got some painting done. I wrote a whole email. Uh, I was supposed to start a blog post, but I, I just, I didn't know what to write about today. Um, and I keep trying to talk myself out of filming this. So, um, I texted my boyfriend and told him, I don't feel like filming and he was like film <laughs> so I'm gonna film uh, this is just gonna be a video of like a nice little routine to wind down for the night because I feel so overwhelmed and it's not just overwhelmed it's like anxious I guess I don't even know I just don't feel I don't feel right I just ate dinner like literally just ate dinner what I'm going to do right now is pack my gym bag and pick out my outfit for tomorrow and work until 7.30. So about 30 minutes of just writing because it'll make me feel a lot better if I get some writing done for my blog post for this coming weekend. Yeah, it's just, it's just nice to have all my stuff ready for the next day too. So. I'm going to do that and I will come back at 7.30 for my little wind down routine. Alright, so my outfit is picked out for tomorrow, my gym bag is packed, and I have made some tea. This is peppermint tea. And it's like maybe 7.40 or so. I did blog for 30 minutes. And I started writing, which was nice. So it's like, I feel like I got a little bit more accomplished and I got a good bit written too. So I'll finish that later on this week. Um, I changed the lighting in the room a little bit, turned on my little headboard lights and my salt lamp. And I have my yoga mat out. And I'm just gonna do a yoga flow. So kind of whatever comes to mind whatever I feel like stretching um, just gonna do this in silence and it's still raining out so it's kind of nice in the background yeah a, a yoga flow slash stretch is like always kind of peaceful and helps me relax and just focus on my body um, so yeah I'm gonna do that for a few minutes just whatever I feel like doing
peppermint tea is so refreshing. <laughs> so I just was stretching and doing that whole yoga flow for about 15 minutes and that actually felt so good and I feel like I needed that. Like I already feel a lot lighter and just more focused on like just I just feel better already and so I'm glad I like I didn't want to film this just because I feel ugly and I just feel like like I said I felt overwhelmed and and anxious so it was like I just I didn't feel like filming I just wanted to kind of like watch some YouTube videos and go to bed but I'm so glad that I like got a little bit more work done and stretched because that you know is obviously good for me um now it's only eight o'clock so the good thing is that i'm just gonna do a few more things and i'll get to bed around nine o'clock so i should sleep pretty well um or at least long enough because i will be waking up at 4 30. now something i wanted to do was write in this little what inspires me section of my next 90 day planner um, I've talked about this planner before, but currently in week seven of this, so, um, wanted to fill this out. And what I wanted to write was my dream day or like my ideal day, what I would like to do every single day of my life, just about like this little, a little routine, what, what inspires me. Um, so I think part of one reason that I'm starting to feel anxious because this always happens like every single weekend is that I, that I get a bit of anxiety on like Sunday evenings or as today Monday evening because I had a three-day weekend um, about going back to work and like my I like my job uh, obviously it's not what I want to do forever but um, I think I, I just don't like the idea of having to wake up so early I don't like having to drive and I don't, just work in general is just something I've always struggled with and I know that sounds silly but like I am when you have an like an entrepreneur mindset or you have like these huge dreams it's just hard to explain and for people to understand because you're probably thinking like oh you everybody has to work but it's not like that it's just it's it's different so anyways that's one of the reasons why I, I know I'm feeling overwhelmed today. And sometimes it hits me harder than, than other days. Um, so I just wanted to write my ideal day because one day I'll have that. And I, I try my best to live in the now. Um, but I know that I am guilty of looking to the future a lot. But sometimes I don't see a problem with that because it kind of keeps me going. It kind of gives me my motivation to keep working and to do this stuff. So yeah, it's just kind of like visualization and manifesting my future. So I'm just going to write my, my ideal day because it is something that inspires me. So I believe I've shown this corner before, but this is my little meditation mat. Um, I'll link it down below, not sponsored or anything, I just, it's really awesome. Um, so I'm going to spend the next, I'm going to aim for 20 minutes meditating. So it's best to meditate for at least 30 minutes. Um, I think like 40 minutes is ideal. Um, I go to a meditation class every Wednesday and we do 40 minutes. Uh, that's really hard for me and even 30 minutes is a long time of course but I am working up to that. Eventually, I would like to be able to do that every single day, maybe twice a day, because meditating is just really good for you. But just for sake of time, yeah, I'll probably do 15, 20 minutes, but I use the app Insight Timer. There's guided meditations. You can just meditate to music or sound, but I like the guided meditation, so I just choose one that kind of speaks to me. And I'm going to be doing that for the next 15 and 20 minutes. I just finished reading Atomic Habits by James Clear a couple of days ago. So I need to start a new book. Now I have several. However, I've read 
basically all of these. Um, I haven't read this one, but I don't know. It just I don't feel like reading it. And then I was thinking A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle. And I started this, but Eckhart Tolle is like a little deep for me. And it kind of overwhelms me more. So I don't think that's going to be the best thing for me at the moment. Um, I'll let you know what I choose. All right, I'm going with Learn to Be an Optimist, A Practical Guide to Achieving Happiness. And I picked this book up at Books by the Pound a few months ago. I think I vlogged that, I don't know. But I did start reading it, and it's kind of like a, like a, I don't know, it's not really like a, a typical book. So I never finished it, and it was really good, but I'm, I'm going to read that because... I think it's so cute, like how it's organized. It's almost nine o'clock. Um, I did meditate for my 15 minutes and the dryer is going and like Jigsaw was playing and the cars are driving by. So I was trying really hard to, to like drown those out. I did for probably the last five minutes or so, but meditating is always hard for me, but I did do it and that's really it. That's, that's, you know, I don't do this every night. Obviously this was just to wind down, um, before I have to go to work tomorrow and because I was feeling overwhelmed and I do feel a lot better now and I feel pretty sleepy. So I'm just going to read until I go to bed and I would typically like journal or write down things that I'm grateful for. But while I was meditating, I was thinking of several things I'm grateful for. I guess I'll just name a few and comment down below what you're grateful for. So I am grateful to be safe and warm inside my home. And I'm grateful that my family is also safe and warm in their homes and my, my loved ones. I'm grateful that my body is able to lift weights and do awesome things and I have the ability to walk and move and speak and hear and see. I'm grateful I get to work and I get to drive to work and wake up early and have a good job. And I'm grateful for my little side hustles of vlogging and YouTubing because they both keep me really inspired and excited about things. I'm grateful for books, to learn lessons, and to entertain me, and I'm grateful that I had a three-day weekend. And I'm also grateful that next week, I'll have a three-day week. So I'm going to take two days off in the week. Well, Thanksgiving is one day, then I'm going to take that Friday off. So yeah, those are a few things that I'm grateful for. Of course, the list could go on and on, but um, I always try to think of them like as I'm falling asleep or anything like that if I don't write them down so Next time you're feeling overwhelmed. Just try a few of these things um, Just do things that like you feel like your soul needs, you know some warm tea Some meditation stretching painting whatever it is that kind of just like Lifts your spirits and I, I do feel a lot better and I just feel tired now and I'm, I'm not like feeling as dreadful as I did so um, I know it can be dramatic but I think you know everybody's different and we all have our own mental demons and whatnot so sometimes these things are necessary for me sorry for the bad lighting sorry if you can hear noises in the background or anything like that but I will see you guys next week thank you so much for watching be sure to like subscribe as usual and follow me on instagram at livinglikelayla bye guys